Hello and welcome to the screencast on DeliverPoint. DeliverPoint is a permissions management and reporting tool that enables you to well, report on permissions such as what sites are inheriting permissions from other sites as well as do some common tasks such as copying permissions from one user to another um, or also uh, moving permissions from one person to another or even removing uh, dead accounts and removing permissions from, from users who are uh, uh, no longer re requiring those permissions. These tasks, although fairly straightforward in, in a, a single site, can be very time consuming when you've got hundreds of sites within hundreds of site collections or, or, or even thousands of sites which you would have in, uh, in an enterprise organisation. So the purpose of this demonstration is just to give you uh, a, a quick insight into the product and then there'll be a series of other screencasts that are going to concentrate on specific things. Um, which, which will hopefully give you uh, a bit more in-depth knowledge on the product. So first of all, um, I'm going to choose Site Actions from the menu, and you'll see that DeliverPoint is driven from the Site Actions in, in several places. Uh, this is on every single site from the Site Actions menu, as well as lists and list items. Uh, so you can report on permissions at, at any given object with it within uh, SharePoint. First of all, I'm going to click on to DeliverPoint 2007, and and that's going to take me into the farm-centric view. of my web application. So you'll see underneath my, my SharePoint server farm I've got two web applications currently and as I expand those web applications you can see that we can drill down into the site collections expanding those and uh, and viewing each of our sites. Now there is a uh, legend that explains what some of these icons mean um, so you'll notice here that the, the, the sites that are slightly greyed out are the sites that are actually inheriting their permissions from the root, the, the top level site and uh, and anything that isn't uh, that has unique permissions okay um, now once you've uh, y y you can see the, the uh, site collection and, and uh, which, which sites are inheriting and which sites are not uh, inheriting permissions you can perform some of the common tasks on them so simply by left clicking one of these sites that comes up with a short context menu allowing you to do an element of account management So moving on to account management you can see some of the operations such as the copy permissions so that allows me to copy permissions from one user to another transferring permissions or, or also deleting permissions Now this can be uh, a, a huge time saver but also um, it, it's sometimes difficult to actually see whether you have removed everything that you should do when uh, when, when a user is buried in, in groups that may be nested groups um, w without actually logging on as that user and testing every single site it, it's difficult to uh, to tell whether you actually cleaned up everything um, so you can rest assured using DeliverPoint that you do copy permissions or transfer permissions or even remove permissions from from everywhere within your site collection or, or given site um, so we're going to concentrate on those in, in later screencasts uh, what I'm going to do first of all is, uh, is, is navigate my site um, so I'm going to go to the top level site and as I drill down uh, for, from Lightning Tools, I'm going to go into my Lightning Conductor web part site. You'll notice in there that I've got some lists, and there's a list here for, uh, well, there's a task list. And inside my task list, I've got three tasks. And under the, uh, the settings menu, again, you can see that there's a, a discover list permissions. So, and, and under the uh, item level permissions we can also manage the permissions on on each item from there currently um, we're able to, uh, to to report on permissions at any given object like I said um, but what I'm going to do from tasks here is, uh, is show you how I can actually see who has permissions to this particular list now when I leave uh, my filter options by default and leave the uh, filter by user blank that's going to report on every single user so when I I click next. I can see who has permission to this list um, and I can also see how they came about having permissions to the list as well by simply uh, drilling down here and you know seeing who's a member of, of, of which group and if I had a SharePoint group nested within a domain group um, then, then that would also display there as well. Okay. Alternatively, we can actually report on a on an individual user as well. So if I simply type in Phil and click Next, that simply shows me what permissions Phil has to this given object. 
So what about some of the, uh, the, the operations? Well, let's just um, have a quick example of those. So from site actions, the lower point 2007, What I might decide to do is uh, is transfer permissions from one user to another, so I can go to account management and uh, and transfer permissions. This is especially useful if somebody's going to leave the organisation and re be replaced. So you can uh, rest assured that, that the person who has got uh, permissions to objects is going to lose those permissions, and and the new person is going to be granted the permissions. So I'm going to transfer all the permissions from Phil over to Brett. Um, I can run that um, either immediately or I can run it um, later on. It really depends when I want to schedule that um, job. If, if, if I'm going to be performing a, a number of jobs, um, based on the size of SharePoint, this, this could take a while. So uh, quite often it, it could be better left until later or I can run it now. Uh, so I'm going to run it now and I'll hit next. Uh, there's a confirmation screen that, that just uh, confirms what it is we're going to do, going to do. and when I choose OK, that job uh, you can see has been uh, completed successfully and my permissions will have been granted to, uh, to, to Brett from Phil. OK, so the other operations, um, they include the, the, the likes of, uh, of removal as well. So again, this is uh, this is especially useful if, um, if if we do want to make sure that uh, somebody doesn't have permissions anymore to any given object. So I'm going to put Raya in here, perform a check, and get him to run that now. And again, Raya would now lose all of his permissions from uh, from from every object within that site collection as I performed it on the top level site. Okay, as well as um, at this level seeing the farm centric view you're also able to see a account centric view and this is always a good check uh, to, to, to make sure that um, you know, your users have received the permissions that, that were granted so I'm just performing a, a search on Brett and uh, what we can now see is all of the, uh, the, the objects that Brett has now been granted permission to. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the uh, screencast. There will be a number of other screencasts, like I said, that will cover in more detail some of these operations that we've been performing. Okay, many thanks.